Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and I'm so excited because today we're going to be doing a look with the Blush Tribe Layla palette. This is a brand new palette that she came out with, and there is a part two to it. The second one is actually all brand new shades, and it's kind of a green and yellow themed palette, but this one, let me take this out, has other shades in it, and this is what it looks like, and this palette, there's a little bit of fallout. I think that happened in shipping. Either shipping or just watching. But this palette is made up of a bunch of matte eyeshadows from the Manaza palette, the Hasina palette, the Hasina 2 palette. So these shades are not new, but they are mattes from all the other palettes combined. So this is going to be the replacement for the Blossom palette. And I'm so excited because I don't own the Blossom palette. It's the only Blush Tribe palette I do not own. And I'm going to be using this today. So even though I knew that I had all of the other palettes, that I didn't technically need this one, I, I love Blush Tribe. I love all their palettes. And I figured it would be fun to have all their mattes in one palette. So the thing that I'm grabbing out now is so with, along with this order, I got my Paulina palette, which I already own the Paulina palette, but I bought a backup and I got a free glitter called Paulina for ordering it. So if you don't know who Paulina Beauty is, I will link her channel up here or in the description box down below. And um, yeah, so she came out with a palette with Blush Tribe. That's not the one we're reviewing today, but it is a beautiful palette. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite palettes of all times. And there is a glitter named Paulina that she sent to everyone who pre-ordered the Paulina palette. So we're going to use that in conjunction with this since this is just an all matte palette. It doesn't have any shimmers. And I really like shimmer. So I knew that I wanted to use some type of shimmer. I need my mirror. So I figured why not try out the glitter and see how it works because I've used some, I have some Blush Tribe pigments and I love them, but I have never tried one of their glitters. So I'm pretty excited about that. And it's a beautiful like greenish gold shade. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know if you were able to see the color, but it's really pretty. So the look we're gonna do is gonna come from this palette. And I think I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna find out, but I'm going to grab a brush and I think the first shade, now all the shade names are different than what they were called in the other palette. So I don't know, but that's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go into I think Montana is going to be the first shade that I'm going to go into. Actually, no, that's right. There is a shade named Montana in one of the other palettes. So maybe I was just confused. I think it's because I don't know all the shade names from certain palettes. Wow, this is really pigmented. I'll have to look up and see which shade is from which palette at some point. I think this one might be from the Hasina one, but I almost feel like this one is more pigmented. I don't know. It's very pretty. Beautiful shade of pink. I knew as soon as I saw this come in the mail that I had to use it. I do have a code with Blush Tribe and I get asked why I don't normally link it and the reason why is because <clears throat> I usually link somebody else's code <laughs> and that is because at the moment when I was given the code it was only for 5% off by mistake and Selma is actually fixing that in the computer so my code is sweets in all caps but I think yeah but I'm now going to go into the shade Japan right here and but my friend's code is for 10% off and I don't want you guys to use my code and then miss out on the additional 5%. So I'd rather give you a 10% off code instead of the 5%. So once my code gets fixed, I will probably put my code in the description box. But for now, um, and I actually used 
my friend's code as well. It's Angie from Forest Beauty. It's her code. And it's BOMBER in all caps. So I'll have that linked down below. But I just didn't feel right about being like, here's my code. And like, you only get 5% and then you find out that you could have gotten 10% from somebody else. So I don't know. I just felt like I should not do that. So, and I myself use the 10% code. So why would I give you guys the 5% code? You know what I mean? So that is why. I'm just going back in with a little bit more of the first shade, Montana. Okay. I have some in my hair and it's annoying me. There we go. All right. So now I think I want to go into, um, I think I'm going to go into Istanbul right here. It's like a deeper purple and I'm going to switch brushes. Um, not that one. I'll just take this one and I'm just going to load the brush up. Actually, I'm going to mix it with Sunset, which is a beautiful royal purple. I think I could probably just go in with the royal purple, but so I'm going to do this. And then I think we're going to do green on the lid, which I think will be really pretty. Which is funny because it's basically the shades of the Paulina palette. Maybe I'll add some blue. But so far this palette is really pigmented. I mean, I'm not surprised because I love every single blush tribe palette. I've honestly never used a blush tribe palette that I don't like. And I own all of them. So... And I... I even like the Neon Dreams one, which I know has gotten some dislike, but for me, mine personally worked really well, so um, I've seen it not work really well on other people, but on me, it worked really well, so I love it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, if I could pay a dollar for every time I've done that, that would be rich. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the royal purple. I just wanted to remove some of the fallout that I created. And I think I'm also going to go in with the blue. What is it called? It is called Bluebell. This one right here. And I'm just going to take that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I own, like I said, I own all the palettes, and I feel like some of these mattes are a little bit more pigmented than in their original palettes. And the, I don't know, I'll have to test it out. Maybe at some point I'll compare them. So I'm kind of just putting it over top of the purple. I think it looks pretty. I don't know why. I just did that in another look where I did purple or blue over purple. And for some reason, I just feel like it always creates like a really pretty, like almost indigo shade. And I just love it. So. All right. So now I'm going to cut the crease. Well, I don't know. Am I? I think I am. Sure. Why not? We'll cut the crease. Let me use the Jeffree Star Concealer. I still can't find my ColourPop Concealer. I swear I must have packed it because I haven't been able to find it. And that's usually the concealer that I like using the most for cutting the crease. But since I don't really love the Jeffree Star Concealer as concealer either, I figured I would try using it. It's not a bad concealer. I, it's not like the ColourPop one. The ColourPop one is just unusable for me as concealer. The Jeffree Star one, I can I can use it as concealer, but I got the white one to use as like an eyeshadow base. So, so I'm just doing a half cut crease. Thing always kicks on when I'm filming. All right. And then 
we can go back in with the same brush and also I'm going to go in with a little pencil brush and I'm just going to take the pink shade and make sure that it's really pigmented above the line. Above the cut crease line. And I'm just going to tap the concealer a little bit. And do the same thing on the other side. I always feel like I take my eyeshadow, I've said this before, up higher on one side than the other. And it's almost like I can't help it because I feel like my eyes are just shaped differently. If you were even able to see me do that because I might have covered myself with the mirror. I tend to do that sometimes. And then I'm just tapping my concealer on this side as well. Just to tap it out. And then I'm going to take that brush that I used with the blue and the purple. And I'm just going to make sure that good to go. Alright, now I think what I want to do is I want a base for the glitter. I don't want to just put the glitter down. So I'm going to take the shade Earth right here. It's a beautiful bright green. And I'm going to have that be the base for the glitter. And the reason that I cut the crease, as most of you probably know, is because purple and pink and green do not mix well together. They are not compatible like on the color wheel. So if I were to try to just blend them together without cutting the crease, it would be a hot mess. Okay. So that's really pretty. Trying to make sure I get all the way up to the line. And then we'll put the glitter on top of that. I'm actually going to use something different as a glitter glue. Normally I just use my NYX glitter glue, but I have one of the Milani Hypnotic Lights in the green shade, uh, Electric Forest. And I think I'm going to put some of that on top and just use it as a base. And see, because I've been wanting to see if those would be good as a glitter base. If I'm using a glitter that's like the same shade as it. So that's what we're going to test out today. Okay, I like that. So this is Electric Forest. Oh, apparently I haven't opened this one. But I've used it before. Weird. I must have more than one. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of this. And I'm going to pat it on. Now this is already sparkly on its own. And I think we're going to do one eye at a time. Just so that we don't end up with an issue. Okay, so I'm going to open this glitter. I have to be really careful not to drop it because, oh my goodness, can you imagine if I drop this literally all over the place? gonna pack that on. Normally I do glitter after my foundation which then I always regret because it gets all over my freshly done face and then I'm mad about it. So this time I was smart enough to be like no I'm gonna do it first so that I can remove Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, now we're going to do the other side. I'm glad that I used this base, and I'm glad that I did one eye at a time, because these do dry down kind of quickly, which is a good thing, because it means you can open your eye faster, because I always have to keep my eye kind of shut, if that makes sense. And... This way, 
doing one eye at a time, it doesn't have time to dry. And it is official, you can definitely use glitter toppers, liquid eyeshadows, as a glitter base. Because this is working better, if I dare say, than my NYX glitter glue normally does. This is such a beautiful glitter. If they sell more glitters, I think I might be buying them. Woo wee! Alright, I think I need just a little bit more on this side. But I need a little bit more base. And I think this is so perfect that they named a glitter after Paulina because she's always using glitter toppers and glitters in her looks. So I think that's awesome that they did that. And I actually got two of these glitters because I ordered two, well, sort of ordered two backups. I mean, I ordered two backups, but not for myself. Ooh, do not talk while you're putting this on. You'll blow it everywhere. Okay. So now I'm going to do my face off camera and then I'll be right back. We'll finish up the eyes. Okay. So I've done my base. I also put on some eyeliner. I used Urban Decay's Deep End. I don't know what I just did with it, but it's somewhere around here. So that's what I used. I'm going to go in with the shade Teal underneath my eyes just because I kind of want to use a different shade. So I think that'll go really well with that shade. I am telling you guys, I'm loving this glitter. This is a glitter I could actually see myself using a lot. And I'm not a loose glitter type of person. That's why I normally really like the liquid eyeshadows the most because it's a way to add glitter or like the glitter liners from Urban Decay is the way to add glitter to your look without having to use actual loose glitter. I am having the issue where my eyes are watering while well, this one eye is watering. It happens to me anytime I do more than one makeup look in a day, which is today. So <laughs> I'm going to use my new mascara from BoxyCharm. This is called Big Ego. It's from Tarte. And I have been loving it. I've only used it one or two other times, but so far so good. And yeah, I love it. It's not, you know, necessarily the best mascara I've ever used, but it's nice and it was free. Well, sort of. I guess technically I paid for the box, but it pays for itself really most of the time okay so this is the finished look except for lipstick i need lipstick i didn't think about that <laughs> oh boy i'm just meshing all my powders together I think this is a record. I think I've filmed like five videos now with my hair down. Let me go grab a lipstick really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna use this one from You Can Be. It's a nude. And if you see another one of these in my box or in another video where I put a lipstick in my box, I'm not cheating. Uh, my friend Cat Blue, I will link her channel. She sent me a set of these. And each one is a different shade, so. Eventually, they'll all go into the box. And I think that this is perfect. Since the eye look is really dramatic. I mean, you can do dramatic eyes, dramatic lips together. But sometimes I don't want to. So this is now going to go into my box, which is getting more and more full by the video. 
don't forget to go and enter the giveaway. I will link the video up here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link my video and Debbie Knobloch's video. We are both doing a lipstick challenge and giveaway, so you can find out what this is all about. But let me spray my face one more time. And then we are done. So I love the way this look turned out. Um, I definitely love the palette, but I'm not surprised because I own all the palettes that these eyeshadows came from. But I am really surprised at how much I love this glitter. So I'm going to check and see if Blush Tribe makes more glitters. If they don't, they should. And if they're watching, make more glitters because these glitters are amazing. And that also doesn't surprise me because her sister owns Certify and they are known for their glitters. So... I don't know there's just something about this glitter it just really shows up it's very you know vibrant and I really liked using this as an eyeshadow base or a glitter base I think it worked almost better than the glitter glue so this is a very gorgeous palette if you do not own the other palettes or even if you do and you really love the mattes and you want like a second one of the mattes I definitely recommend this palette I think the formula is amazing and I for some reason, I think these are more pigmented, so I don't know. I'm going to have to test that out in a video, but I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.